Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss with you how to obtain center of gravity of an arc of the curve. We know that center of gravity of a body it is nothing but the point through which resultant weight acts. Okay, so let us consider the example. Find the position of the centroid of arc of the cardioid r equal to a into 1 plus cos theta lying above the initial line. So we want to obtain center of gravity that is centroid for an arc of the cardioid r equal to a into 1 plus cos theta which lies above the initial line. So solution we know that center of gravity is given by the point x bar comma y bar. Let us see the figure first. What kind of this curve is? So this is the polar coordinate system. This one is the cardioid r equal to a into 1 plus cos theta and this much is the part which lies above the initial line whose center of gravity we want to find and not of the below part. This center of gravity x bar comma y bar in this this x bar and y bar they are given by the formula x bar is equal to integration x rho ds where this rho ds is nothing but the mass element dm divided by the total mass and y bar is equal to integration y rho ds divided by integration rho ds. Now we will see how to obtain these integrations for that now as we have seen in x bar and y bar the denominator is same which is rho integration rho ds therefore we will name these integrations as say let us say x bar is equal to n1 upon d and y bar is equal to n2 upon d where n1 is equal to integration x into rho ds, n2 is equal to integration y into rho ds and d the denominator is equal to integration rho ds. This rho is the density and here in this problem which is given as constant. Okay. Now let us uh, go for finding n1. Before that uh, first of all we will see what to consider this x and how uh, we should evaluate this ds. How we can consider this y. So this x and y they will be as the given curve is the polar curve. So they can be replaced by the polar coordinates. So x is replaced by r cos theta, y is replaced by r sin theta and the arc element ds is given by square root of r square plus dr upon d theta square into d theta. Now first of all we will evaluate this ds because it is common in all the three integrations. So we will evaluate this term first. This r is nothing but the equation of given curve which is r equal to a into 1 plus cos theta. So we will replace r by that term and we will simplify it so that the ds will be 2a cos of theta by 2 d theta. So this is ds and as we have seen the curve already it lies above the initial line therefore theta varies from 0 to pi. Now First we will evaluate the n1 which is integration x rho ds. Now replace all that values. So it gives us integration 0 to pi a into 1 plus cos theta. So we have replaced x by r cos theta and in that we have replaced r by a into 1 plus cos theta. As this is single integral so we are converting uh, r and theta into theta only. So a into 1 plus cos theta cos theta rho this is the ds which is 2a cos theta by 2 d theta. 
and now we want to simplify this integration for that we will replace this 1 plus cos theta by 2 cos square theta by 2 so simplifying it uh, it becomes 4a square rho integration from 0 to pi cos square theta by 2 cos theta by 2 it is cos cube theta by 2 this cos theta as it is so cos theta into d theta now further we will put this theta by 2 as t okay we will replace this theta by 2 as t so that uh, these limits they become 0 to pi by 2 limits of the integration and then we can use the reduction formula so do that so if we put if we replace theta by 2 by t so d theta will be 2 dt and limits of the t will be 0 to pi by 2 hence n1 it becomes 4 a square rho integration from 0 to pi by 2 cos cube t cos of 2 t 2 dt to use the reduction formula angle of both the functions must be same therefore we replace cos of 2 t by 2 cos square t minus 1 else we can replace simply by cos square minus cos square t minus sin square t but here we have replaced it by 2 cos square t minus 1 which gives us 8a square rho integration from 0 to pi by 2 2 cos square uh, 2 cos raised to 5 t minus cos cube t dt now uh, evaluate these two integrations separately so that will gives us by the reduction formula as our n is 5 so the first term is 4 upon 5 then 2 upon 3 by using reduction formula minus again use the reduction formula to the second integration here n is 3 so it will give us n minus 1 upon n that is 2 upon 3 and the uh, smallest uh, fraction is 1 upon 1 that is 1 next simplify this uh, so it will give us n1 is equal to 16 a square rho divided by 5 in same way we can evaluate n2 like this so n2 is equal to integration y rho ds this y will be replaced by r sin theta in that r is replaced by a into 1 plus cos theta rho as it is ds will be replaced by 2a cos of theta by 2 d theta we can solve this integration as like the previous integration so that will give us n2 equal to 4a square rho integration from 0 to pi cos cube theta by 2 sin theta d theta simplify it further put theta by 2 as t to uh, get the limits as 0 to pi by 2 so this is the substitution which gives us limits for t as 0 to pi by 2 Th therefore n2 it becomes 4a square rho integration from 0 to pi by 2 cos cube t sin 2t into 2 dt simplify it further replace this sin 2t by 2 sin t into cos t so that will give us n2 is equal to 16 a square rho integration from 0 to pi by 2 sin t into cos raised to 4 t dt so again we use the reduction formula for integration from 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to mt into cos raised to nt dt so that will gives us 16 a square rho 1 into so this is for m m equal to 1 this 3 into 1 is for n is equal to 4 divided by m plus n that is 4 plus 1 which is 5 we have reduced it by 2 so this one is the required value of the integration using reduction formula further simplification gives us n2 is equal to 16 a square rho divided by 5 finally we will evaluate the denominator d which is given by integration 
rho ds this one is the simple integration integration from 0 to pi rho 2a cos of theta by 2 d theta so this is the integration of cos theta by 2 which is sin theta by 2 upon 1 by 2 that will give us 4a rho sin theta by 2 limits are from 0 to pi put the upper limit put lower limit that will give us d is equal to 4a rho hence the x bar will be given by n1 upon d which is equal to 16a square rho upon phi u into d is 4a rho simplifying it we will get x bar as 4a upon phi u similarly y bar will be 4a upon phi u and hence the center of gravity of an arc of the cardioid r equal to a into 1 plus cos theta above the initial line is x bar comma y bar is equal to 4a comma 4a upon phi u comma 4a upon phi u so in this way we can evaluate center of gravity of an polar curve i hope you understood this thanks for watching this video